Are you going to expand your business to a new city in the U.S., even if you don't live there? Discover the virtual business address. It boosts credibility and brand value. In this video, I'll show you what a virtual address is, why it's great for your LLC, and how to get one easily. Let's begin. Are you struggling with setting up an LLC? Are you feeling overwhelmed by all the legal stuff? No worries. Malay Law has got your back. We handle the paperwork while you chase your dreams. Don't let doubt stop you. Click the link in the description to book a free call and kickstart your LLC journey today. Let's jump right in. 1. What is a virtual address? So, what exactly is a virtual address? Well, it's a modern solution for businesses and individuals who want to establish a presence in the United States without the need for physical office space. Think of it as a digital mailbox that can receive your mail and packages and even serve as your official business address. 2. Why you might need a virtual address for your LLC Now, let's talk about why you might need a virtual address for your LLC. Firstly, if you're running a small business or looking to expand your operations, having a presence in the USA can be a game changer. Secondly, some entrepreneurs prefer not to use their home address as their business address for privacy and security reasons. A virtual address can help protect your personal information. And thirdly, it gives your business credibility. Virtual addresses can make your business appear more professional and established, which can be crucial when dealing with clients and partners. When potential clients or partners see your fancy virtual address, they're more likely to trust you. 3. How to get a virtual address Okay, you're convinced that a virtual address is the way to go. Now, let's break down how to get one. First of all, choose a virtual address provider. There are various virtual address providers out there, such as UPS, Regis, and more. Research and select the one that suits your needs best. If you choose a virtual business address in the U.S., there's a crucial step you need to take, and that's filing Form 1583 with the United States Postal Service. Form 1583 may look a bit intimidating at first, but don't worry, we'll break it down step by step. Now, let's dive into how to fill out this important form. In Section 1, you'll need to provide information about your mailbox. This includes the mailbox number, the address of the facility where your mailbox is located, and the names of all individuals or entities authorized to receive mail at that address. In Section 2, you'll provide information about yourself as the applicant. This includes your full legal name, contact information, and a valid email address. Section 3 is all about additional information. You'll need to provide the names of any authorized agents or individuals who will pick up your mail on your behalf. This is crucial because it helps prevent unauthorized persons from accessing your mail. Section 4 requires notarization. This means you'll need to sign the form in the presence of a notary public. You can usually find a notary public at your local bank, post office, or government office. Be sure to bring valid identification with you when you go to get your form notarized. In Section 5, you'll provide mail forwarding instructions. If you want your mail forwarded to a different address, be sure to specify that here. Section 6 requires you to provide two forms of identification. Typically, a driver's license, passport, or utility bill with your name and address will suffice. Check with your chosen virtual address provider for specific requirements. Finally, in Section 7, you'll sign and date the form. Make sure your signature matches the name you provided in Section 2. Once you've completed all sections of Form 1583, take it to your chosen virtual address service provider along with your identification documents. They will guide you through the final steps of submission. 4. Benefits of using a virtual address for your LLC now, let's delve into the benefits of using a virtual address for your LLC. Virtual address gives your business a professional appearance. Having a prestigious address can enhance your business's image and credibility. Most virtual address providers offer mail and package handling services. They can receive your mail, sign for packages, and even scan documents for you to access digitally. Lastly, virtual addresses give you flexibility. You can manage your virtual address remotely, which means you can move your business anywhere without changing your address. 5. Legal Considerations Before you jump into getting a virtual address, there are some legal considerations you should be aware of. In some states, you may still need a physical registered agent with a physical address. Check the regulations in your state. 
make sure to research whether you need any specific licenses or permits to operate with a virtual address. 6. Tips for choosing the right virtual address provider Not all virtual address providers are created equal. Here are some tips to help you choose the right one for your LLC. First of all, consider the location carefully. Choose an address that aligns with your business goals. Compare prices and services offered by different providers. Don't forget to factor in any additional fees for mail handling or other services. Also, look for reviews and testimonials from other users to get an idea of the provider's reliability and customer service. Think about your long-term business goals and whether a virtual address aligns with them. Consider whether a local presence in a specific area is essential for your business. 7. How to use and maintain virtual address effectively. Getting a virtual address is just the first step. Now, let's talk about how to use it effectively. You must set up mail forwarding so that your mail and packages are sent to your real location. Many virtual address providers offer digital mail services where they can scan and email you the contents of your mail. This can be incredibly convenient for remote management. Check your virtual mailbox regularly. Don't let important mail pile up. Ensure that your virtual address is used consistently in all your business materials, including your website, business cards, and legal documents. If your business address changes, don't forget to update it with all relevant parties. Also, make sure to renew your subscription on time. You don't want your virtual address to disappear unexpectedly. 8. Virtual Address versus Physical Office at this point, you might be wondering, is a virtual address the right choice for my LLC, or should I opt for a physical office? Let's compare the two. Virtual addresses are usually more cost-effective than renting physical office space, which can be expensive. With a virtual address, you have the freedom to work from anywhere. Physical offices tie you down to a specific location. A physical office can convey stability, while a virtual address offers flexibility. Consider which image aligns better with your business goals. 9. Common Misconceptions There are a few common misconceptions about virtual addresses that we need to address. Some believe that having a virtual address can lead to tax complications. It's essential to consult with a tax professional to understand your specific situation. A virtual address is not the same as a P.O. box. It provides a more professional image and offers additional services. Some people think using a virtual address is illegitimate. No, using a virtual address is perfectly legal and legitimate for businesses. One of the common misconceptions is that virtual address is only for startups. Virtual addresses are beneficial for businesses of all sizes, not just startups. And there you have it, everything you need to know about getting a virtual address for your LLC in the USA. Remember, a virtual address can be a game changer for your business, providing credibility, flexibility, and cost efficiency. Just make sure you choose the right provider, stay on top of legal considerations, and use your virtual address effectively. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more insightful content on growing your business. And if you have any questions or want to share your own experiences with virtual addresses, drop a comment below. We love hearing from you. Thanks for tuning in today, and we'll catch you in the next video.